The master is a group of axes, so we have by default all four axes attached to master zero. We can name this group of axes anything that we want. This is only used in the project. It's not really used within the controller or in the program. So if this was a pick and place, um, we could name it pick and place one. We could have another group of axes that's a different pick and place. Um, or it could be an unload and you could have another group of axes that's doing a, a load. Um, in the units, you can select inches, millimeters, degrees, revolutions, counts, or other. These are really defined based on the motor selected and the scaling. We'll get back, um, we'll get back to that when we talk about the individual axes. The controller actually does not know uh, the difference between inches and millimeters. This isn't stored within the project. In terms of the master motion default, um, if I go up to a controller and if I had all four axes and I started commanding motion for coordinated motion, this would define um, the default values if I don't set anything for the Excel velocity to decel and stop ramp. Of course, in a program, we should always set these. Um, you could be jumping around in the program based on subroutines. Uh, anytime you command motion, it's always good practice to set these. The acceleration is uh, going up to the velocity. The deceleration is uh, changing the velocity when the velocity isn't zero. And then the stop ramp is when the motor is actually stopping. Uh, again, this is not just for one axis, but everything connected. So this could be one axis doing a a move or it could be all four axes. This is independent of the single axis jog moves. Uh, so this is interpolated motion uh, when it's connected to uh, program zero, which is uh, master zero.